Hello, dear AI enthusiasts. Today we're diving deep into a topic that has shaken the tech world. Satya Nadella's controversial statements about AGI on the Dwakesh Patel podcast. Us self-claiming some AGI milestone, that's just nonsensical benchmark hacking. You might have already heard about this, but we're going to analyze not just his words, but also the reactions, theories, and hard facts behind them. So get ready. This will be an interesting discussion. Imagine. The CEO of Microsoft, one of the most powerful players in the AI field, makes a statement that divides the community. What did he say and why is it causing such a stir? Let's break it down step by step. First off, what did Nadella actually say? In the podcast, he dismissed AGI milestones as meaningless benchmark hacking. Yes, you heard that right. He finds all these milestones that the AI world celebrates somewhat overrated. Instead, he says that the true success of AI should be measured by how much it stimulates global economic growth. His goal, an ambitious 10% growth per year. That's really remarkable when you consider that developed countries are currently at around 2%, often even zero, if you factor out inflation. Nadella draws a comparison to the industrial revolution here and believes that AI could have a similarly transformative effect, but only if it's used practically, like tools such as email or Excel that change the world. He believes that AI won't just benefit tech companies, but especially businesses that use it to significantly increase their productivity. But how is this being received in the community? The reactions are very mixed. On X, a tectonic the pod praised Nadella's focus on real economic effects and dismissed the AGI hype as nonsensical. This seems to support the pragmatic approach, doesn't it? But on Reddit, especially in r singularity, there's clear criticism. They say Nadella is evading and ignoring that AGI is actually about generalizable intelligence, systems that surpass human cognitive abilities. There are two camps. Some find his realism convincing, especially to reassure investors, while others fear that the economic focus undermines the big long-term goals of AI research. What do you think so far? Is Nadella a visionary or is he playing it safe? Let's look at the facts. Studies show that AI can indeed have a significant impact on economic growth. PwC says that AI could contribute up to $15.7 trillion to the global economy by 2030. McKinsey goes even further with an extra $13 trillion by 2030. That would be 1.2% more growth per year. This supports Nadella's idea that AI can boost the economy, even if 10% is a very high expectation. But here comes the interesting point. Many argue that AGI is more than just economic growth. It's about systems that mimic human intelligence. And this raises ethical and social questions that you can't simply measure in dollars. What's more important to you, the economy or the big philosophical questions? In the podcast, Nadella also talked about the role of AI in the world of work. He doesn't see AI as a job killer, but as an enhancer. He says, I think we will start to value different kinds of human labor. What is considered high quality work today could be a commodity tomorrow. There could be new things that we value. That's an interesting point because he addresses the debate about the future of work. Imagine AI takes over routine tasks like sorting your inbox and gives you space for more creative activities. But how realistic is that? He believes that the big winners won't be the tech giants, but companies that use AI to become more productive. The discussion has also generated various theories. Some suspect that Nadella, with his focus on economics, wants to show that Microsoft is more oriented towards short-term profits. Others praise him for dampening the AGI hype and setting realistic expectations. It reflects the great conflict in the AI world, short-term applications versus long-term visions. And then there are other CEOs with their own perspectives. Sam Altman of OpenAI says, AGI remains a core goal, and we could soon see systems that exceed our imagination. Demise Hassabis of DeepMind, on the other hand, thinks AGI is still about 10 years away, and we still need some breakthroughs. These different viewpoints show how strongly opinions diverge in the industry. What does all this mean for the future? Nadella emphasizes that we must also consider the ethical and social implications of AGI. He says society will not allow AI systems to get out of control. Trust and legal frameworks are crucial for him, so that AI is used responsibly. This is very important because AGI brings not only technical but also societal challenges. One point he often mentions is alignment, how we ensure that AI aligns with human values. Microsoft is investing intensively in research here because this is crucial when we talk about potentially super intelligent systems. And what is AGI anyway? AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. Unlike specialized AI, which can only handle specific tasks, AGI should be able to do everything a human can do. 
This is an ambitious goal with hurdles such as context understanding, learning from few examples, and abstraction capability. Nadella views this soberly and says that even if AGI takes over a job, new tasks emerge. He asks, why do we think all cognitive work will disappear just because we have new tools? This is reminiscent of the horses versus cars debate. Cars replaced horses, but there are still niches where horses make sense. Do you believe humans will also find such a niche? Let's dig even deeper. Nadella also talks about the practical side of AI. He's already using Copilot to prepare for interviews. For example, for the podcast with Dwakesh Patel, he tells his AI agent, hey, I'm about to talk about quantum breakthroughs. Give me a summary in podcast form. This shows how AI is already changing workflows today. He compares this to the lean method from production. AI could make knowledge work more efficient by reducing unnecessary steps and creating added value. But he admits that change management is a challenge. How quickly can companies and people adapt? Another point is infrastructure. Nadella says that the massive expansion of data centers could become excessive at some point, similar to railroads or the dot-com boom. He's already looking forward to leasing capacity cheaply in 2027 or 2028 because prices will drop. This ties into Javonza's paradox. When intelligence becomes cheaper, demand increases. He commented on this after the DeepSeek release, a cheaper tokens could significantly increase usage, especially in areas like healthcare in the global south. What do you think? Will more affordable AI really change the world? Finally, a look at Microsoft's partnership with OpenAI. Nadella invested in OpenAI back in 2019, long before Copilot. He says that the value doesn't just lie in building the model, but in how you scale and use it. He doesn't believe in a winner-takes-all scenario in AI, Unlike in the consumer market, businesses want to have multiple providers. Open source, in his opinion, will also keep closed source models in check, similar to how Linux once challenged Windows. This shows how strategically he thinks is not just about technology, but also business models. In summary, Nadella's statements about AGI and economic growth have triggered an intense debate. Some appreciate his pragmatism, others see the long-term goals of AI in danger. The truth probably lies somewhere in between. What do you think? Should AI success be measured by economic growth or are there more important metrics? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested in your opinion. If you like this update, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll be notified when we upload a new video. I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.